Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take some time to explore the higher and lower expressions of your life path number. Remember, we work with the energies of this number throughout our lifetime. You may not feel resonance with some of this information, but there may come a time that you do. Allow this exploration to simply alter your awareness so that if the expression surfaces, you won't be caught off guard. This information is, of course, not exhaustive. There are so many influencing numbers and energies that we are influenced by in this lifetime that this is simply an introductory overview. For the greatest understanding of what energies your particular soul chose to work with, overcome, and master within this lifetime, I suggest having your full numerology report completed. I do offer these on my website if you're interested. The link can be found in the description box below. We're not guaranteed to step into our life path fully in this lifetime, but we will be given every opportunity to try. Some of the higher octave keywords for life path number three are larger than life personality, creative, heartfelt self-expression, and healthy inner child relationship. Lower expressions of the energy emerge as disorganization, wounded inner child expression, scattered energy, chaos, making oneself small in order for others to feel comfortable, and no creative self-expression in your day-to-day life. In order for three energy to feel energized and happy, there must be some form of creativity or creative self-expression within their life. A mundane or stifled existence will lead to depression and actual physical ailments rather quickly. We all have creative life force, you know, energy moving through us, but for threes, it's actually about harnessing that energy and creating something with it that is a direct extension of themselves. This is something that your soul came here to master within this lifetime. Mundane or boring with zero passion are the ingredients for unease, frustration, and resentment for a three. With so much creative juices flowing for this for a three energy, it's very easy to feel overwhelmed and consumed by all the various ideas and inspirations coming in all at once. Any extreme can be toxic. So just as mundane and zero creativity can have ill effects, so can chaos and disorganization. It's very important for threes to learn ways to explore the ideas that come in, but to also choose to narrow, choose and narrow it down to a few at a time to focus their energy on. Too many options and goals can quickly lead to energy being scattered and overall exhaustion. The higher, the higher octave of three is also an excellent communicator. Many threes make incredibly successful writers or motivational speakers. Threes often have many opportunities to develop and put to use their communication techniques. On the shadow side, it's quite the opposite and communication with with others will suffer until the three can understand that communication is ultimately a two-way street and one must listen to and understand what the other party is saying before three, you know, before true communication can take place. One-sided conversations are not conversations at all. Travel is is also a theme throughout a Life Path Three's journey. This is because travel allows you to become involved in various experiences and investigate new opportunities that will open your heart and your mind to a new creative pursuit. In the shadow side of a three, life can be lived in excess, creating chaos, Overindulgence in eating, drinking, sex, substance abuse, and so on is an extreme, and these things can become the focal point and you lose sight of yourself. In shadow, threes can tend to sort of overreact in a larger than life way, exaggerating situations and 
turning simple problems into sort of Godzilla-sized issues to the point where things get out of control quickly, making friendships and relationships superficial. The other person fears fully expressing themselves out of concern for what will set you off. This is, of course, you know, this, of course, brings us back to the need to acquire the tools needed to tap into your incredible innate communication skills. Find ways to nurture the child within. Express yourself creatively and communicate with an open heart and an open mind. And you will be so pleased that you chose this life path to master in this lifetime.